It's time for another look at some scary videos from all over the internet. And in this collection, there's some truly inexplicable footage. I'd suggest that you don't watch these scary clips right before bed, but if you do, maybe leave a nightlight on. Number 10. This next haunting clip is giving people the heebie-jeebies, and in all fairness, it's clear to see why. The woman who lives in this house started hearing strange noises while she was trying to sleep at night, and so she decided to set up a camera in hopes that she would find an explanation. As the clip starts, we see that the camera is aimed at her bed, and keep in mind that she states she was awake throughout this recording and didn't notice anything going on around her. At first, we can see some strange movement on the left side of the screen, but this looks more like a camera defect, or as though it may be the result of the clip being brightened during editing. But that's when things get downright terrifying. A strange creature that looks like a child can be seen jumping onto the bed from the left side, and it's clear that the woman didn't notice since she doesn't react at all but rather tries to get more comfortable. Even more strangely, the figure then seems to jump up and down after it slid back off the bed, but still, no one in the room seems to notice. According to the uploader, two minutes go by before we see any more activity, and this time the same figure can be seen jumping off the bed, again on the left of the screen. People who have viewed this terrifying video have stated that they find it very unsettling, and thus far, no one has been able to come up with a plausible explanation for what's happening in this house. Would you be able to continue living in your house if you knew this type of activity was going on around you? Number 9. A man by the name of Manuel filmed this next scary video in his yard, and what he caught on camera is truly inexplicable. This camera was set up on the edge of Manuel's yard, and only a short distance is lit up by the camera's light. Off in the distance, we can hear leaves rustling, and a strange creature can be seen moving in the darkness. When it moves into full view, however, we get a proper look, and it isn't like any creature that you would expect to see walking around your yard. The creature looks like a cross between a werewolf and a devil. It has a strange red face, and its eyes glow for a moment as they catch the light from the camera. It also seems to have very pointy ears, adding to its sinister appearance. Strangely, it lingers in the same spot for a few seconds before it turns around and disappears back into the darkness. Many people believe this is some type of werewolf that wandered close to Manuel's property, while others believe it may have been a wild boar that was looking for something tasty to eat. Some other commenters believe it was an elaborate hoax, and that the beast was actually someone dressed up in a costume. Either way, it certainly is creepy looking, and I wouldn't want to venture out into the darkness to find out. Number 8. Rubsy is a well-known Twitch streamer who decided to pet sit for a friend one night while streaming, but he quickly regretted that decision. Thank you, and I'm, I'm not. I'm honestly really shaken right now. Uh, I've talked to Jay, he knows what to do in case of an emergency. My parents know I'm here. Um, several friends in real life know I'm here. Um, that's all I have to say right now. Um, I'm gonna try and get into the gameplay. I tried to play the demo again and it, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> the guy Dustin with the, the $2 holly guys is gonna hashtag Dustin in the chat. chat door door oh 
I'm gonna ACG with the dollar dollar. We're gonna we're gonna check it out, guys. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm completely numb right now. I'm completely numb. My mouth is numb, my face is numb. I can't feel my hands. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. I'm going home, guys. I'm, I'm ending my stream right here. I'm the. Thank you guys for coming by. I'm sorry. This is just a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Um, I I don't know. Go raid skilled apple. Go. Go. I'm going home. I'm going home. Sorry, guys. As the clip begins, Rubsy mentions that he's already shaken and that he has informed people of where he is, but behind him, a door begins to open wider and wider. Someone in the live chat tells him what happened and he looks terrified. He walks into that room and finds nothing out of place. That is, until the door slams behind him. And when he gets back to his computer, he says that he's so scared that he can't feel his hands or face. Just a few moments later, strange noises come from elsewhere in the house, and understandably, he's too terrified to even turn around, as he says, I just know that it's behind me. After investigating, he's close to tears as he explains that he can't stay there any longer. But while he's trying to sign off, a few objects on a table behind him slide off of a table and crash to the floor causing him to jump and become even more frightened than he already is. This is the last straw, and Rubsy decides that he's going home, and I would have been right there behind him on that decision. Number 7 Next, we go to an abandoned prison, where a man is doing an investigation in the middle of the night. As he passes some of the cells, he points his camera at some of the artwork left behind by former inmates, when he hears something off to his right that causes him to spin around. As he peers down the corridor, footsteps fall to his left and he aims the camera in that direction. He steps into one of the other cells and as he tries to read some graffiti, a sound like someone opening a cell door can be heard somewhere deeper in the building. Next, we hear the sound of footsteps falling on a wet floor, and he calls out, hello, but gets no response. He makes his way into the cafeteria, which is known as a paranormal hotspot, and next, he hears a chair being dragged across the floor. He turns around just in time to see the chair being moved by something that he can't see. He moves closer to four chairs in the middle of the room and inspects the one that moves. He says, move this chair again, but instead, one of the other chairs is dragged across the floor, causing him to cry out in terror. He seemingly thinks of fleeing for a moment, but he focuses on the chair one last time, only to see it moving back to where it was before being dragged away. I'm not sure how much longer he stayed in that building, but I for one would have been out of there in a flash. Number 6 
The zoo is a place to see some animals with your family, but this zoo in Romania has a creature of a different kind that left this man in disbelief. Okay, so I'm in this really crappy zoo in Unnest, Romania. They got this really weird creature caged up. It looks like some sort of deformed human. I'm gonna try to get some footage of it. The man explains that the zoo has a strange creature kept in a cage and that it looks like some kind of deformed human. He adds that he's going to try to get some footage of it. It seems like he's trying to hide his camera as he walks into a building, and we can hear that there are several people inside as they're talking excitedly. As he walks further into the building, we can hear disturbing, low growling sounds being made by the creature, but it's too dark to see anything. From the sounds that the creature's making, it seems to be in some distress possibly because it's being held in the cage against its will. But the man moves into position to get the creature in shot, and as he does so, it lets out a blood-curdling scream as it rushes the cage door to try and attack anyone who ventures too close. The creature looks like a human, but it has pale skin and no hair. It's hunched down on its knees and moves strangely, as if it's having difficulty finding its feet. The terrifying footage ends there, with no further explanation as to what happened to the creature afterward. Some people think that the footage has been faked. Some believe that it may have been a promotional video for the zoo, while others believe this creature to be a rake. What's your take on this creepy video? Number 5 This next strange clip is very short, but it shows what this man and many others believe to be a glitch in the Matrix. There is a theory believed by many people that we're living our daily lives inside of a computer simulation. This would explain many of the strange things that we see going on around us, such as people acting strangely as if frozen, airplanes seemingly floating in one spot, and footage similar to the video we're watching now. The clip was recorded in the middle of the day on a busy street, and just above a streetlight, there's a strange dark spot in the sky. The person filming the video also notices and immediately zooms in to take a closer look, but as they do so, something truly inexplicable happens. It turns out that the dark spot was actually a bird that is frozen in place, and it suddenly bursts to life and flies away. The majority of commenters think this to be truly strange, and that there isn't a plausible explanation for the footage while others stated that the footage was either faked or that the bird was merely gliding on the wind before flying away. This last theory seems plausible, but the bird seemed to be completely motionless, and your guess is as good as mine. Number 4 I've seen many photos that show inexplicable objects that shouldn't be there, but this time we'll be looking at creepy footage that seems to show the same thing. In this inexplicable footage, a man is taking a video of what appears to be his two sons. One of the boys jokes that he's going to strike a pose like Donkey Kong, and he strikes a few poses, making his dad laugh. But just a few moments later, the man cries out for them to move as he notices something truly weird. A hand seems to come from behind the two boys, and it wraps around the leg of the one on the left. The boy doesn't seem to feel anything, but the dad sees it and immediately runs toward them to investigate. The boy looks confused since they didn't see anything, and as the dad dashes forward, the hand disappears into thin air as if it were never really there. As he reaches them, he films behind and around the area where the hand is said to have originated from, but there's nothing to be seen other than grass and the pavement. He walks around the tree where they were standing, but there's no one there either. Was this a phantom hand that appeared out of nowhere, or was it just a trick of the light that fooled him? Number 3 We've all bought a new appliance, only to immediately find out that there's something wrong with it after it's unboxed. 
But the woman in this next creepy video found out that her new TV has an even bigger problem than that. So I was just recording this video because I just put my TV up and in the reflection of the TV, I noticed that there was a figure standing over me. And I slowed the video down because at the end of the video, I noticed it literally moves right there. As the clip begins, the woman explains that she was filming a video as she just set up her new TV and she obviously wanted to show her followers on TikTok. But that's when she noticed something that shouldn't be there. The TV is still off and on the left side of the screen, she sees a reflection of some kind standing over her as she lies on her bed. But from the angle that she's filming at, we can see that there clearly isn't anyone in the room with her and she instantly gets a fright. She gets up from the bed and approaches the TV, but before she gets any closer, the reflection moves as if it's trying to avoid her. It disappears from sight to the left of the screen, but there's no one to be seen in the room. Would you be able to stay in that room after witnessing something like that? Number two. The woman in this next confusing clip uploaded this security footage to try and find an explanation for what happened to her but there have been no suggestions that can explain what's going on here. Massive so the craziest shit happened to me earlier. So, okay, there was a glitch, a glitch in the system. I'm going to show you guys a video, okay? So in this video, you can see me uh, grabbing a lemon, right? I cut it in half, and then I cut it in half once more right there. You can see me cut it, right? I go get a bag, okay? I grab the bag, I go back for the lemon, and I grab the lemon and I touch it and I'm like, why is it not cut in half? And my face, I'm like, what the f So I, I'm like inspecting it. I take it out of the bag. I grab this lemon trying to see if I cut that one. I recut the lemon because the lemon wasn't cut anymore. Oh, I'm freaking out because the lemon was not cut in half anymore. Before we look at the actual footage, the woman explains that something crazy happened to her while she was at work. She explains that she thinks it's a glitch in the system and then cuts to the actual security footage. We see her standing by a table in what looks like a restaurant kitchen. She reaches forward and grabs a lemon, which she then proceeds to cut in half and then cuts one half into quarters. There can be no doubt that she cut the lemon as we see the knife slicing through the lemon. Then she walks to her right to grab a plastic bag and she picks the sliced lemon up to place it inside but that's when she noticed that the lemon is still in half rather than in quarters. The confusion on her face is obvious and she stops in her tracks to check if she's mistaken, but she isn't. She checks the other half of the lemon in case she grabbed the wrong one, but that half also isn't sliced. She then cuts the lemon one more time and it finally does what it's supposed to. She asked her followers to explain what happened since she's at a total loss and we agree. It's clear that she cut the lemon, but how could it possibly become whole again? Was this another glitch in the matrix? And if not, what's your explanation for this strange footage? Number one. A child's birthday party is supposed to be filled with joy, games, gifts, and fun. But the people in the following scary video ended up having a nightmarish time instead. This is Christina's birthday party. And everyone at it, there's Brianna, her little cousin. There's Haley, her other cousin. And there's her daddy, Tommy. Hello. And here's her Aunt Misty. Hello. And here's her Uncle Joey. What up with it? What up with it? All righty, let's go with she is. Daddy light the candles. Easy, so we can get you a little cake on, ca on camera. So we yeah. can remember your party. And we'll give the happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Christina. Happy birthday to you. Yay! 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 Did you like the bicycle and stuff you got for your birthday? Oh my god, Tommy, it's gonna start again. Oh my god, oh, dang no. It ain't gonna mess everything up. It's gonna mess this up for come everybody on. now. Come on, sissy. Come on, baby, come on. I don't know what's gonna happen. Come on. It's ridiculous. Heck, I'm sorry, baby. 
Seems like it's I missing know, everything in four seconds. It's okay. It'd be all right. God, okay. Yeah. We should have had this at Jerry's right. house. Okay. It might it's not just anything else, okay? this stuff is starting again. Right. I'm sorry, sweetie. You okay? Prison. I'm so sorry. <laughs> As the footage begins, we're told that this is a girl named Christina's birthday party, and we're introduced to everyone in attendance before they light the candles and sing happy birthday. They then cut the cake, but while doing so, a faucet in the kitchen turns itself on, and we can hear that there are no strangers to this type of activity as the woman filming the video says the stuff is starting again. They apologize to the children as they will obviously have to leave the house, and this is when things get really creepy. Before anyone can go anywhere, a cupboard on the far side of the kitchen flies open on its own, and a pot is thrown onto the floor with a crash. But there's hardly any time to react before the next creepy occurrence. Two of the drawers under the sink open on their own accord, and they slam open and closed, causing one of the girls to scream in terror. One of the men yells, what's going on? And he tells the girls to run out of the kitchen. But the creepiness only escalated from here. One of the drawers suddenly flies free and falls to the floor. And as the terrifying footage comes to an end, one of the drawers is still opening and slamming shut. The family has been featured on this channel before, and from what we've been able to find out, they did eventually move into a different place where the paranormal activity thankfully didn't continue. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more of everything Bill knows. But my name is Ty Knotts, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.